to make Kaosui my style. So uh, my in-laws live in Burma now called Myanmar for many years. Um, and of course, over the years, there have been variations and everyone sort of has their own style, but this is how I make it. So for the curry, I use um, homemade broth. You don't have to make it homemade. Uh, I have two cans of coconut milk. I'll add galangal. And if you, uh, you can usually get it at the Asian markets. If not, it kind of looks like ginger. If you don't have this, you can always put a slice of ginger. I do add a couple of stalks of uh, lemon pepper and then a couple of leaves of uh, kaffir leaves, which is a variety of uh, lemon or lime. So you can also add lime leaves if you want to or omit it completely, it's not necessary. And also I don't add any salt or any other spices to it because when you're cooking with co coconut, if you add salt in the beginning, it will separate. So that's what I do. And for those folks who don't have easy access to canned milk, the, uh, making coconut milk is really easy. You just get some unsweetened coconut, shredded coconut, the dried one, boil it, blend it, and then um, just strain it through a cloth and squeeze out the milk out of it. So it's really easy. It takes a few extra minutes, but you can do it and it comes out really good. All right, now I'm ready to make the beef curry. And I have about one and a half pounds of um, cubed beef. I have two cups of uh, red onions chopped in the bag. I usually chop it and freeze it so that's why it looks like this. And of course I have my oil, salt, paprika and ginger garlic and that's what I'm going to add in here. Oil, up to you how much you want to use, salt to taste. Um, Paprika, of course, is for coloring. If you want it spicier, go ahead and add red chilies, cayenne pepper. Take your pick. <laughs> 